Do you know the best way to get started with Playwright? What is the best AI LLM for testers? And how does DevOps work for Salesforce? Find out in this episode of the Test Guild News Show for the week of June 23rd. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. So Philip recently posted how Playwright has just surpassed Cypress in downloads. What does this mean for you? Well, I think it's time, if you haven't already, to add Playwright to your automation toolbox. How? Well, the Test Guild has just created a free course just for you called Mastering Web Automation with AI. And what's really cool about this course is it matches up learning Playwright and leveraging AI to help you learn Playwright as well. You definitely want to register because you're going to learn from industry experts and gain practical knowledge that can be applied to real-world testing scenarios. So software testers should take advantage of this free course to stay updated with the latest advancements in AI-driven web automation. You'll also learn how to apply AI techniques to optimize your current testing frameworks. So register now and secure your spot and get all the awesome bonuses we have as well. All you need to do is go to testskill.me forward slash play AI. Register now. See you inside. Once you have your Playwright framework in place, you're going to need to scale. But how do you turbocharge your Playwright test executions? We have an awesome opportunity just for you that covers this. So if you've been struggling with slow test execution or complex setups with Playwright, well, what if I told you there's a way to supercharge your tests, make them faster, more efficient, and way easier to manage? That's why we're thrilled to announce our upcoming webinar, Turbocharge Your Playwright Test Executions. This is your chance to learn from industry experts who have mastered Playwright and are ready to share their secrets with you. So in this action-packed session happening this Thursday, you're going to discover proven techniques to speed up your test executions, best practices for managing and scaling your Playwright test, and real-world examples and case studies from leading automation engineers. So whether you're a seasoned Playwright user or just getting started, this webinar is designed to give you practical tips and strategies you can implement right away. So imagine slashing test execution times and freeing up more time to focus on what really matters. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss out on this exclusive opportunity to elevate your playwright skills. Also, spots are limited, so you definitely don't want to miss this. Make sure to register even if you can't make it because you will receive the replay for anyone that registers. Back in the day, Serenity was my go-to automation framework, so I'm excited to announce this new enhancement to Serenity JS. Jan just announced that they released version 3.24, which introduces a dynamic description for custom tasks, interactions, and questions. And this update will allow descriptions to generate in real time using parameter values, enhancing reporting, and debugging. And this new feature supports all Serenity JS screenplay patterns, APIs, promising to improve test automation and reporting experiences. So this update to Serenity JS should help you to learn to leverage dynamic descriptions for more accurate and real-time reporting and debugging. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Also on my LinkedIn feed, I noticed that Browser Stack made an announcement that it's just introduced an AI-powered self-healing feature for automating web tests. So this functionality enhances the stability and speed of test results by automatically identifying and debugging locator failures during test sessions. And by using robust AI models, this self-healing feature ensures that tests are less prone to flakiness caused by locator anomalies. And this aims to save testers' efforts and improve overall test reliability. And speaking of browser stack, I'm also excited to announce that Test Guild now has Browser Stack as its strategic partner. To check out all the exclusive Guild goodies you get as a loyal Guild member, head on over to testguild.me forward slash browser stack to learn about all the benefits you get. So what AI LLM model is best for testers? Well, AI and test guru Jason Arbin recently conducted a detailed evaluation of various AI language models to determine the best ones for software testing. So using over 2,000 test-specific prompts, Jason assessed models from OpenAI, including GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4, and Anthropic, Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus across 20 quality attributes, including accuracy and creativity. His findings show that GPT 4 is the top performer, but only by a small margin, and that all models scored an average of 9 out of 10 and had similar performance across attributes with weaknesses in creativity, interactive quality, and originality. Notably, despite the performance similarities, pricing between models can vary over 100 times, suggesting that smaller, faster models could be more cost-effective for more testing tasks. So check out the results for yourself in the link down below.
So I also came across more innovation happening around Appium. And this was posted by Srini, who announced that Sai and Sudarshan just unveiled a brand new Appium improvement, introducing Dashboard UI for Appium Device Farm. It gives you a sleek, intuitive interface for optimal user experiences for Appium Device Farm. And if you don't know what the Appium Device Farm is, it's an Appium plugin that enhances mobile testing by streamlining driver session management for iOS simulators and Android devices. And this offers automated device recognition, proactive device pool management, parallel testing capabilities, and the platform supports remote testing for geographically distributed teams, manual device interaction for detailed testing, and integrates seamlessly with cloud services. Additionally, it provides advanced reporting insights through a comprehensive dashboard, and I believe it's all open source, which makes it even better. So show them some love, check it out in the link down below. All right, I also came across something I never heard of before, and it is APA. What is it? Well, let's check it out. So this was Anandan's LinkedIn profile, and he talks about how agent process automation uses AI agents powered by large language models. And unlike traditional RPA or robotic process automation, which relies on rule-based systems, APA dynamically and intelligently automates complex workflows with minimal human intervention. And this new approach offers greater flexibility, adaptability, and efficiency, allowing AI agents to autonomously construct, execute, and adapt workflows in real time. So if you wanna check out how to implement APA for yourself, use the link down below to take a deeper dive. So we talk a lot about Playwright and Cypress, and we also talked about download stats for Playwright and Cypress. What about Selenium? Well, let's show Selenium some love first. This is by Jason, he brings up a good point that Selenium is the biggest open source success story never told, it doesn't get enough loved, and that they're now 20 years old and it's launched numerous careers and companies and you probably have used Selenium as well, so show Selenium some love. And to show off some of the incredible accomplishments of Selenium, they launched some new features that can highlight some new mind-boggling stats. So at the Selenium Conf State of the Union keynote on June 21st, they unveiled the latest releases, including Selenium Manager, and one of the new features provides usage statistics, revealing Selenium has 2.5 million users worldwide, with Python being the most popular language. And these statistics, though not covering older versions, highlight Selenium's global impact and dominance on browser automation. So this is pretty cool to see just how much Selenium is being used in the wild and how many people are invested in this technology. So this is incredible. So give Jason Huggins and Simon Stewart and all the major contributors to Selenium some love and recognition for all they have done for the community for over 20 years of awesomeness. Thank you all for what you do. So I've seen an uptick in news stories around Salesforce, and this latest one is around Salesforce DevOps. And this is about GearSet, which is a new tool that's unveiled significant enhancements to its Salesforce DevOps platform including a new CICD offering designed to speed up enterprise digital transformation projects. Key upgrades include improved data management, metadata comparisons, and deployment visibility. And this new feature aims to eliminate development delays and ensure smoother deployments. And GearSet's CEO, Kevin Boyle, emphasizes that these updates are based on customer feedback and expertise of their team. So leveraging something like GearSet's compare and deploy functionality to identify and address potential deployment issues early in the development cycle should help reduce the risk of last minute surprises and production halts. So my favorite book on job performance testing is incredibly out of date and out of print. I think it was printed in 2003. I love this book. So I was happy to see this book review posted by Juan on Monica Beckwith's new book, JVM Performance Engineering Inside OpenJDK and Hotspot's Java Virtual Machine. And in this detailed book review, Juan mentions that this book examines Java's evolution and core components affecting performance, including Java modules, string handling improvements, and various garbage collectors. The author Monica, a recognized Java expert, emphasizes making informed decisions through a deep understanding of application behavior and environments they run on. And this book balances theory and practice, offering practical examples and tools for performance assessment. All right, for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to those links down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.